These half dozen complaints filed with the Attorney General's office represent over $52,000 that people say they lost when they paid above and beyond roofing for repairs which never happened. We've had a, a number of complaints, I think about six, against this company, which for one small uh, housing contractor is not insubstantial. Among the complaints, this one from a Raleigh man who lost over $8,000. He said that Jared Guy, a former sales rep for the company, told him there were approximately 25 homeowners in the same situation with services paid for but not rendered. Guy now owns his own roofing and repair firm called Above Average Consulting. I am doing an investigation on above and beyond roofing. I called Guy who agreed to talk to me so long as I did not record his voice for broadcast. He said that he quit working for Above and Beyond Roofing over a pay dispute. I experienced not getting weekly draws. After two weeks of that, I quit and went out on my own. He told me that roofing repair is a big lucrative industry and said that he believed that Above and Beyond Roofing owner Ricardo Romero will try and make it right for customers. Customers like this man who told me that he paid over $10,000 for a roof repair which never happened. I have to pay people back. Earlier this week, I spoke with Romero on the phone. He claimed that some customers did get refunds. I just paid some people back a couple weeks ago. Have you spoken to those people? I have not. So they can confirm that. If you, okay. can, if you can give me some names or I will send you a text and you can, uh, you can text me back some names and uh, phone numbers and we'll try and do that. I'd be happy to. I sent him that text, but he never replied. And phone calls to Romero now go to a voice mailbox which won't accept any messages. Meanwhile, the AG says the investigation continues. On what we learn in our interactions with that company, any company, uh, then we make a decision whether it's something we should go to court uh, about. And the AG warns if a contractor is doing work for you, never pay up front, only pay in stages as the work is being completed. For the CBS 17 Investigators, I'm Steve Sprachan.